Good afternoon, friends. Today's story is Going Places. It was written by Peter Reynolds and Paul Reynolds, and there were some of my favorite authors. You might recognize the pictures from when we read The Dot and Ish. The story is about Raphael, and he had been waiting all year long for the Going Places contest, a chance to build a go-kart, race it, and win. When their teacher announced who would like the first kick, Raphael's hand shot up. The rest of the class watched enviously as Raphael walked back to a seat with a kick. Miss Chanda assured them, don't worry, you'll all be getting one. And they're all exactly alike. The kit came with a set of precise instructions and that made Raphael happy. He was very good at following directions. Precise might be a word that you're not familiar with. It means exact. Raphael hammered, he glued, he nailed, and he assembled his kit. His go-kart looked just like the one in the directions. He was feeling quite proud. Raphael wondered how his classmates Maya, um, how she was doing. She lived right next door. I wonder if her cart's going to look the same. What do you think? He peered over the fence. Hey, Maya, you haven't even started? Maya didn't respond. She was intent on watching the bird in front of her and quickly sketching it that she didn't even notice Raphael. Just then, she put down her pencil and she stared at the bird dreamily. Raphael shrugged and he let her be. morning, Raphael checked back to see how Maya was doing. Wow, what is that? He asked. Maya grinned. Do you like it? Raphael responded slowly. Uh, yeah. Extremely cool, but uh, Maya, there's just one little problem. That's not a go-kart. Maya smiled. Who said it had to be a go-kart? Raphael was confused. The set of instructions inside the box were for a go-kart, but then again, they didn't say it had to be a go-kart. He looked again at Maya's contraction. After a moment, he grinned. I get it. Hey, Maya, I really want to win this race, and the instructions never said we couldn't team up either. Sounds like they had an idea. And so they did, and they worked late into the evening, And the next day, everyone gathered for the big race. Each go-kart was a perfect replica of the others. Except for one. One of the kids laughed. Looks like you had trouble with the going places instructions. You're going to go places, all right. You're going to be last. Maya and Raphael didn't even have time to respond because the announcer's big, boomy voice called out, Attention, racers, start your engines. Four, three, two, one. And the buzzer sounded, and they're off. While all the other go-karts disappeared in a cloud of dust, Maya just sat there in her motionless vehicle. Raphael shouted over the roar of the engines and cheering crowds, Maya, what are we waiting for? No worries, Raphael, Maya answered. Flaps down, throttle up. And now they took off into the air. The other contestants looked up in amazement. Maya and Raphael hovered, and then they sped past them all. Before long, Maya and Raphael coasted across the finish line to the cheers of the waiting crowd to the finish. They kept rolling clear across the race grounds. Maya slammed the brakes, stopping just short of the lake at the edge of the school field. Raphael noticed a startling leapfrog from the lily pad and dive into the water. So he raised his eyebrow and he looked at Maya and she smiled. Raphael, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Raphael just nodded. I wonder what they could be thinking. The story's almost at an end. We have one page left. Do you have your predictions? They turned it into a submarine. The dedication says to all the great thinkers who have gone above and beyond, and especially to Dan McClurk, our 10th grade social studies teacher who dared us to have original ideas, Peter and Paul. 
the end. Till next time, friends, stay well.